Hello everyone, it is Luke and Load here to go over the best Steam games under $10 while being over $5. This list is based on which games have the most likes on Steam, and at number 5 we have Insurgency, which is a first person shooter amongst the likes of a Call of Duty or Arma or Battlefield, those types of games. Except for one thing, it is much, much cheaper, only being at $10. This game has 62,000 positive reviews on Steam and 91% total positive reviews. Some reasons to buy this game based on the let's plays I've seen and reviews I've seen is that it is a cheap FPS. Why keep buying the next Call of Duty for $60 when you can just have this game for $10? The second one is the realism. People have said it's realistic even though they've probably never been in a war or shot a gun. People keep saying that it is pretty realistic. And the last reason is a CSGO Call of Duty mashup. Call of Duty maps with a gameplay mode like CSGO, you die, you're out, and the round is over. Some reasons not to buy is you only love Call of Duty, you can't play another shooter because you really only have one true love. And for that reason, you're now getting married to Call of Duty because that's how much you love it. And now you are literally at the altar with Call of Duty and you can't cheat on this game. You can't play another first person shooter. This is your only game. Sorry to make so much fun of it. I used to love Call of Duty, but seriously, do we really need 20 of them? Number four on the list with 79,000 likes on Steam is Undertale. Undertale is a RPG style game. It's been played by the likes of Markiplier. If you want to watch that Let's Play, he has the first episode on his YouTube. I'll link it in the description below. And it looks pretty dang hilarious. It's got a really cool twist to the game where you don't even have to kill anyone, which doesn't make sense for an RPG. However, that is one of the reasons I say you should buy this game because no one listens to you in real life. In this game, your choices matter. Whether you're a pacifist or you attack everyone, every choice matters. Which makes the replayability of this game amazing because apparently even your first playthrough, those choices that you make affect your second and third playthroughs of the game. And the last one is just really creative and funny RPG and they seem to have a lot of fun and puns in it. So if that's your type of thing, it's pretty funny. A couple reasons not to buy it is you're a murderer. Apparently people are saying you have to play this game as a pacifist to really enjoy it. So if you only like murdering things, this may be not your game. The second reason is people, a, a few people, said the combat they felt was easy and boring and they just couldn't handle it for that long of a game. Also, some people gave it a negative review just based on it being overhyped and not living up to their expectations. At number 3 with 93,000 likes on Steam is Counter-Strike. And yes, it probably has 93,000 likes because this game has been almost out for 17 total years now. This game is based off of Terrorist Warfare, it's a first person shooter, round by round, team versus team. As you kill all of their team, then you win the round, you get more money, you can build more upgrades and weapons, and get more stuff for the next round. It is the original CSGO, obviously. I think everyone knows that though. <laughs> Some reasons to buy this game though is that it is fast paced, the rounds go quick, and there's always something going on. Second reason is it's a classic historic game if you want to get a look into the past of the gaming industry this was a huge game for first person shooters obviously it's still going to CSGO and the last reason is you like getting your brains blown out seriously this game is hard to get into people have been playing it for a long time and you're most likely going to die again and again. Some reasons not to buy is you don't like getting your brains blown out. Seriously though, there's pros on this game, it's a really old game so a lot of people have a lot of experience and you're gonna likely die over and over again, which made it very frustrating for me. The second reason is that you don't have nostalgia, maybe you didn't play this game back in the day and so you don't feel any connection and you don't care about anything old, you just want the new car, the new game, whatever is shiny. 
At number two is Terrio with 184,000 likes on Steam. I just got this game on my phone and on Steam, been playing it on both, and I like really both versions are so much fun. It is super addicting, even with the limited gameplay I have had, it is still just got me wanting to play more and more. This game is a sandbox game, mining game, crafting game, all of the above. You pretty much dig, build resources, build up your town, and there is just so much content, so much to do that I've barely scratched the surface. Couple reasons to buy this game. You love crafting, you are like me, you like achievements, you want to build the next best thing, find the best next item that you can. The second reason is you have too much time on your hand, seriously, you can sink hundreds and hours into this game and still be playing it so if you have a lot of time this is a fun one the third reason is so shiny you know you just like those shiny items you got to get more and more come on get more and more possible reasons you wouldn't like this game is maybe you have no imagination you don't know what to do in sandbox types of games and so you get bored easily you like being told what to do and for some reason you only like really linear games that have one path. The third reason would be you think it's Minecraft. Uh, I, 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 it, oh, it's not 2D Minecraft, that's all I'm gonna say, it's not. And the number one most liked Steam game for under $10 is Gary's Mod with 285,000 likes on Steam. Now unfortunately, this game doesn't have a trailer or any gameplay footage on the Steam board, so you know, you can see these lovely terrible pictures. Anyways, some real quick reasons why you'd want to play this game is mods. I mean, it's called Gary's Mods, it's, it's a game that is totally moddable and has <laughs> so many different games to play on it, it's insane. The second reason is for the, the probably most popular game on there, which is Prop Hunt. If you haven't seen that, go type in Prop Hunt gameplay. It is hilarious to watch. It is probably one of the most fun games I've ever seen, and I really want to play it myself sometime. Third reason is you have friends. Having friends with this game apparently is so much fun because there's so many different things you can do together and just laugh your heads off. Couple reasons you wouldn't buy this game. I'm not really sure to be honest. Like wh why, why not? Maybe it's because people are giving negative reviews that they've had bugs and problems on their computer, although not everyone has had that many bugs. And maybe the third reason is you don't like 10 year olds in your video game multiplayer communities, but to be fair, that is in literally every single multiplayer game community. So just buy Gary's Mod anyways. Hi, I'm Luke McLaughlin. Please commit to not wasting our innocent friends like Mr. Jackson. Thank you.